Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. Welcome to the 2024 Houston Auto Show and the worldwide broadcast of the In Wheel Time car talk show. Just ahead, more guests from this 41st annual show. Plus, we'll have the upcoming events calendar and Mr. Mars reviews the new beautiful Lexus LC500. All right. Howdy, along with Mike out of this world, Mars is off gallivanting, trying to find our next guest. Uh, King Conrad DeLong sitting next to me today. We always need more Jeff Zekin and the ever popular and famous David mm. Ainsley. I know that the video portion of our show is a little bit weird. Wonky. Well, well because we... Because somebody didn't bring enough battery power or something to put the camera in front of us, so ah. we have these side views. Wow. Is that what the problem is? Yeah, it's the problem. So, at any rate, uh, we apologize for our video people that love to watch us. I don't know why. But at any rate, um, we are here, and it's all good at the Houston Auto Show and, and the you. Nissan booth. And we thank Nissan for allowing us. And we're right across the aisle from Captain Kirk's Marine. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, the Red Wing Red Boat Wing Company. Red Wing Boat Company, yeah. Uh-huh. So and if you're Yamaha looking, Motors. The what? Yamaha Boat Motors. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, they're up front. They're up the front door. So you just walk past them and yeah. come on down here yeah, and see Triton, us. and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I mean, we've got a huge audience in front of us right now. You can't see because the no. cameras are pointed they're, at each other. They're, yeah. There's that. They're, they're surfing, body surfing. So if you're that. wondering why we're doing the tap dance, because we're waiting for <laughs> Mr. Nautique, or should we say Naughty, Mr. Naughty. Okay. He's naughty because he's not here. Yeah. But uh, Mr. Nautique Boats, uh, either Jason or nautic. Sammy are supposed to uh, be joining us. And we're going to talk a little bit about boats. And in, uh, specifically, more along the lines of boat motors, because, you know, boats are just the tool to get you across the water yeah but it's the motor that propels you across the water it's a vessel the vessel well i think that there's a difference between a boat and a vessel aye 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 captain (laughs) (laughs) so we're taking all our listeners on a three-hour tour yeah Ooh, that would not be a good thing i don't know if they'd want to i don't know if they'd want to be stuck on that island with us for years on end Oh, you know, sure and, they would. Now, as popular as that television show was at the time. I think it only you know, ran for like three or four years. Well, it didn't run very long. It's, it seems like it lasted forever. Who was your favorite person on uh, Gilligan's Island? Marianne. Marianne. Uh, Marianne was everybody's favorite. Mrs. Howell. Mrs. Howell for you. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, darling. <laughs> she was rich. She was. Yeah. Well, Mr. Howell was rich. Well, she just kind of tagged along. And you think along. as smart as the professor was, he could figure out how to fix that hole in the boat. <laughs> well, that, and, or it, at least, if nothing <laughs> Coconut else. Coconut walkie-talkies. <laughs> either that or at least have, uh, you know, the uh, transistor radio working. Yeah. Something. Or build a nice raft. Uh, build a nice what? Raft. A you know, raft. All the palm trees and uh, the available hey, wood products. Should have come to the boat show and got a new boat. To the boat show. You guys check out the Z? You you have to sign the bottom line. Your dad's got the paperwork all filled out for you. The Z in this booth over yeah. here. Did you see it? You did see it. Okay. Did you get to sit in it? Did you get the poster? They're giving well, away you, a poster. Go over there and sign up and get it. It gets you a demo. I'm going to give me a poster. Yeah. So, at any rate, we have to some teach the these things, young children some of the to. things he can do at the be, car show. I know. Uh, because they're not letting you drive it, but you can sit in it with a auto specialist, and uh, they will tell you everything that you ever wanted to know about it. Mm-hmm. I'm game for that. Um, I need help in the cars that I get every every week. Yep, and it, ne- it never fails to amaze me. Just about the time that I think that I've got it figured out. I realize it. I don't have it figured out. They changed something. Well, you, you talk to Katie. Your, your daughter is an astrophysicist, so she helps you out with all that. Well, she does. Yeah, pointing out things like, this is stupid. How to, <laughs> how to, how to well, set the clock. Yeah, how to set the clock. Blinks 12. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, just like the VCR that I still have. Yeah. I thought it was so a Betamax. 
What'd you find out there, Mr. Mars? I guess you're going to put your headset on. You're going to – he's out of breath. He's a no-show. So the, um, the Nautique brand. Nautique, yes. Nautique. Or Naughty, as we like to say. Yeah, the Naughty brand. Apparently, uh, I'm not sure which dealership they are, so they're not on the map. So I'm really not sure where they are. So Rochelle is working on that. Okay. Okay. As we speak. Well, that's good to know. As we speak about Nautique. Um, and so uh, if you're nice. just joining us uh, on, uh, either on a podcast or just joining us now, you're going, well, wait a minute. These guys are usually ending the show at this time. Well, we've actually delayed today's broadcast to coincide with the opening of the doors here at the Houston Auto Show, which was at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because years past, we started at 8. And There's the car nobody at here. For two hours. Yeah, and we have to call in special people because... Well, because we're special. We're and, special. Yeah. And uh, they normally don't get here until the show opens at 10 o'clock. Yep. Why would they? So uh, we thought we'd make it easier on this show to uh, do that. You, 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 why are you showing me that? You, you know, well, I'm going to do a car show this segment. I was wondering maybe we could do that while we're waiting on them. You know what well, I noticed? All these trailers have really nice wheel packages. Look at that over there. That's a real nice wheel package. And let, and let, me, let me just say this about that. Yep. Uh, they used to not. No. Now they've all got custom the, the, the steel mat, spokes, alu- alumin- and all that. Yeah, it used to be oh, just yeah. a galvanized steel wheel. Not even wheel. galvanized. Yeah. Yeah, Are you kidding? Just a steel wheel with a dog dish hubcap. Yeah. Not even a dog dish. No, no, nothing. We... Just so show the lug nuts going down the yep. street. Well, they still have those, but these are these are cool. These are really cool. Yeah, the trailers what? are really cool too. Yeah, you're going to pay for that, and the trailer oh, comes yeah. separate. Well, you buy the boat, get the trailer free. No, you do not. You buy the trailer, <laughs> get the boat free. <laughs> Something. Whatever it is. Well, the, tra- the trailers probably weigh a third of what they used to weigh. Yeah. Because now you can see this is all I-beam. Well, look at that. Well, yeah. no, that's not I-beam. That's a, that's a channel right there, or a C. Or C okay, C-channel yeah. aluminum. So the, the trailers, you know, because you got to count not just the weight of the boat. you got to count the weight of the trailer when you're towing. So well, they're and, trying to do as much as they can to lower that yeah, trailer weight. And then you load the boat up with all the stuff that you're going on. you got to put your mother-in-law in there. It's great. Yeah. All the beer. Beer? Well, just whatever. You ice. Know, ice chest and uh, fish. fish. Rod reels and life jackets. Are you a fisherman? Have a Fuel. Are you a fisherman I used to go quite a bit. I've had a couple of three fishing boats. And the reason I say life jackets is I changed the prop on one, and me and my son went out to the local bio to go. And the prop fell off. No. We got back to <laughs> the boat to ramp. Put the plug in. No. We got back to the boat ramp, and the game warden was sitting there. How y'all doing? We're doing great. Mind if I see your life jackets? If you want to come to my house, come on. <laughs> Write your ticket? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Wow. He just thought that See, was funny as heck while he was you writing. Take a boat course. Take a boat. Well, we we cleaned it up. We just, let's go quick. Take See how the new prop's doing. Didn't even think about it. You know, you should have had the life jackets. I can't argue with that. This is the same kind of uh, <clears throat> excuse that you have on the on, I know on where you're going. acceleration test. I know test. where you're going. <laughs> yeah. And the tickets that you get that you don't admit to. Yes, officer. I, I... Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll try and tell them a, a line or two, and, and if they don't bite the hook, then I just give up. You know, what the heck? You always hope <laughs> this is the first time they've heard that line. <laughs> I haven't been that and lucky. The, and they'll, I had, give you, they'll give that to you. I had a friend of mine. Uh, he was a fisherman, and he was hauling donkey down 45 south. Hauling to go, donkey. To get to Galveston. In a boat? Pulling his boat. And he got a ticket for like 90 miles an hour. Do you Yeehaw. know what kind of boat it was? It was a speedboat. <laughs> but um, bum Ching. <laughs> oh, he got it. <laughs> Are you our naughty guy? Our naughty guy? Right here. Naughty guy. There you go. Okay, so uh, this is now are, are you? Sammy. Sammy. Sammy from Nautique Boats, or as I like to call them now, Naughty Boats. Well, we, we've kind of renamed them. They can, they can get pretty naughty out there, but I know. Know, so it's not the boat doing that. It can be naughty so, on the boat. Explain to everybody what uh, <laughs> is a Nautique boat and why is it special? Oh, a Nautique boat is the number one boat in the industry right now. It's a, it's a ski and wakeboard boat. We build ski boats. We build wakeboard boats. We build surf boats. And uh, the surfing is like actually just taking over the whole industry, so... 
There's a lot of people out there surfing behind these boats. You know, surfing. Yeah, hey, you don't have to go out to the coast or get a big wave. You just get a big wave right behind a boat and surf on your surfboard. Sure. It's pretty fun. A wakeboard, yeah. Yeah. Ride the, so wait ride a minute. the curls. So, see, you, but there's no rope no, no. attached to your hands. No. You get up with the rope first and then, yeah. You know, throw the rope off and then you ride surf. Ride the wave. How cool is that? It's amazing. Really, it is. So is the wave created by the hull shape it's a little or by bit the of- output of the engine? It's a little bit of the uh, hole shape and also a surf device that we call NSS, Nautic Surf System. It diverts water on one side and makes a really big wave on the other side. How cool is that? So, yeah, it's pretty. All this new technology out there. Yeah, you got to make it work. And so, we signed Don up for the tests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And with the casket dragging behind me. <laughs> do, do the engines, do you use the outboards or this don't is you a, use the inboards? This is inboard. a true inboard boat. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's it's very very high end v, for that. Is it called a V drive? It is a V drive. Yes, sir. What is a V drive? What does that mean? A V drive is well, you, you have a transmission. The V drive turns the uh, the shaft the other direction, so the engines actually turn around backwards in the boat. But so but so you have to you have to put a V drive in there to get the prop going the right direction. Would you mind if I eat this hot dog? You can eat that hot dog. I, you know, you were talking about. We just it. don't want to watch. You were talking about a uh, you know. You know, pulling the casket behind a while ago. Yeah. You know, that, you might get there really close with that hot dog. <laughs> um, yeah. just, just saying. Well, so. I'll tell you what. My ankles do swell up yeah. after I get through oh, eating boy. this because yeah. of all the that salt. All that that, that, and the heels just really yeah. put him over the top. Yeah. yeah. But Nautique is the brand of choice for people who are water skiing and wakeboarding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By far. Serious yeah. people no, about it. Yeah. Nautique, yeah. you learn more about it. You know, go to Nautique.com. Um, our dealer here is Dockside Marine. In this show, and so you can go visit them as well and see all the latest, greatest nautiques down there. And Does then have- you guys also offer the, I, I don't know what, what it's called, but I've always called it kind of the bar ski um, thing. It's it's the bar that oh, yeah, you're talking about bolts the- into the back of the boat, and you're skiing like... Side Two of the feet away from yeah. the boat. In our ski nautiques, in our in our ski boats, we got a, a ski nautique 200 and a ski nautique. You can actually buy what's called a boom, and a lot of people learn to barefoot and stuff like that off of off those booms. Okay, great training device, but yes. So, but I'd like to talk about surfing again and him getting behind a casket and stuff. <laughs> there you go. Because surfing, <laughs> you know, surfing, we go about 11 and a half miles an hour. It it's not going to beat you up. You're going to be fine. Oh yeah, will. That's all you need to go to create that that wave. <laughs> yes, sir. Just yeah, we're we're going go about that at it all. How do you keep your wave, How do right? you keep your feet stuck to the surfboard while you're trying to get up? It, just like just like a surfer would, you know, you're going to come up on it just like a surfer in the ocean, um, or just like a wakeboarder will. It, it'll stick to your feet. You just pretty much you bury. Then nobody can see my hands on on the radio, but okay. you just bury your feet down, push down like sink right in the board. The Oh, sink sink the board down and uh, and you'll it'll stick to your feet. Do they make the do they make the boards, boards a do they make boards specifically for this? They do make they make wake surfboards yep. and the, which is not an ocean surfboard. Gotcha. So it's like centrifugal make, force. Yes, so. Shorter. They're a little shorter. You can get to, I, I got a friend that rides a surf a real surfboard. It's long, and he can do some amazing <laughs> things behind that. So, but. what are the, some of the prices of, of what you have here display? Um, it, on boats, um, our Nautique boats run anywhere between about 150, and we got another one over there that's like 480 thousand. So, but but they, but again, that is not the guy that's going to go out on Sunday afternoon for a couple hours. That's more for somebody that is very serious about their skiing and their or their water sports. Let's go that way. They're all there's all kinds of enthusiasts out there. There's the, the guys that are really dedicated to the sport and they're out there, you know, surfing or skiing or wakeboarding, you know, every weekend and every day behind the boat. And then we got we got that family that they just love that style of boat and they love the stereo because the stereos are a JL stereo and they're an awesome stereo system. You you don't even have to buy anything else for it. It's ready it's to there. go. And what is Marine your grade? Yeah. yeah, what is your engine of choice? Well, our, is it, ours is Chevy base engines. Um, they're okay. Pleasure Craft Marine puts them, they marinize them t- for us. Um, most of ours are 6.2 liters. And uh, the biggest one, 630 horsepower, is the supercharged okay. direct inject engine. Your Corvette motor. It's the same engine. So, how many knots? How many knots? Uh, like, uh, how fast? You put a knot in your head. <laughs> a knot in your head, yeah. You so, um, we're. 
basically we're not built for speed. We're built for power. Torque. Get Torque, up. Get up and go. And so our, generally our boats won't go over 40 miles an hour about, about that. So. Yeah, but a lot of that's prop driven, isn't it? The speed of the boat's more prop driven than it's it is? It's all prop driven. Yeah. It's a straight shaft prop. No, I mean the, the, yeah. the, you control your 40 miles an hour with R- RPM of the engine, but also the pitch of the prop because you, you want a boat that's going to pull – Going to yank whoever it is up. and just jerk them up out of the yeah. water immediately. Yep, it'll it, it'll pull everybody up easy. It's, we've always been known for that. So, and then in board business. Well, and when you see professional skiing <laughs> on TV, water skiing on TV, you're the boat they're using. I mean, that's, that's correct. There, there's no doubt that it's a nautique boat that they're skiing behind. Yep. That's correct. We are celebrating in 2025. We're, we're going to be celebrating 100 years. So, oh, wow. Really. But, uh, and have always been a V drive. Always been a, a inboard style boat. So back in back in 1925, they were running right off the you know the flywheel. Right off. Right off the <laughs> crank, no, straight there was, to the yeah, prop. There was no transmission. Just go. <laughs> have you have you ever seen one of those boats in person? Uh, the that 1925. Yeah, no, no. I have not. The earliest You're, one I've seen probably in like 59, 61. Because yeah. you yeah. know that somebody's got one in some collection somewhere. Oh yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Well, we, we have, have the cool. we huh? have the, the the show down on the coast mm-hmm. down in Galveston or the Galveston uh, yeah. Kima Kima yeah Kima. couldn't think of Kima I'm sure they've got them down there so yeah, they, they probably have somebody display one we have to look around so yeah. a little trivia so, for y'all um, why is the steering wheel on most of these boats these IOs and inboards and stuff well, I, I just on the on not the on not the driver's side of a car right right it's, it's totally it's on the, the right side yeah because of, well the uh, we just did a segment on it there's torque. In That's the, correct. In the, in the propeller, it's mm-hmm. two to five degrees to the, to the left. Yeah. So they put it on the right to compensate, compensate. a little weight. And early on, when they had oars and uh, the rudders, it was more right-handed people on the right. Well, gondolas but it was too. Hard, it was hard to water ski behind a guy. Oh well, yeah. Oars. Well, you got to work really yeah. hard. Well, when when before transmissions and stuff going off that flywheel, the torque of the engine would these boats were narrow, like you know, not as not eight foot wide like they are now. But they were narrow, and the torque of the engine would tilt yeah. the boat. Yeah. And so that's why it was on that side to compensate the Just driver's Just put a little weight, weight on that side. Mm-hmm. So they don't have quite the same problem with an outboard. No, they don't have that problem with an outboard. Okay. Okay. So, so that torque problem not as is, cool. is an inboard. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of boat was the SS Minnow? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> See, these are, the, these are the stupid questions that come from car guys. Yeah. Okay? People want to no know. Idea. We're not boat people. <laughs> um. Very trailers. Do you guys make your own trailers? Um, we do not make our own trailers. We have a trailer, uh, boat mate trailers, usually the most common trailer in the inboard market. So they're out of Knoxville, Tennessee. So. Oh, yeah, they would have to be different because you've got the very, shaft coming yeah. out of the hull. Yeah. And, and very specialized trailer. Specialized, yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's Are they fun. aluminum? You can get aluminum or steel. Or We were just sitting here commenting uh, about the aluminum trailers because, you know, I had a boat in the 1980s, early 90s, and it was a steel trailer like that one. I didn't even think that the aluminums were available back then. I wouldn't know. I, 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 <laughs> I either. I just don't know. I want to know. He's not as old as you are, Don. <laughs> I want to know how you got into uh, boating. Are you you a boater forever? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I grew up three event skiing, slalom, trick and jump. Um, I, I lived in Oklahoma, good state of Oklahoma. Boomer Sooner, <laughs> Boomer Sooner. Boomer, yes, Where sir. Where at in Oklahoma? Um, I live on Lake Eufaula, but I grew up in Tulsa. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, yeah. Eufaula, the lake yeah. that was built by the German prisoners of war. That were kept at Oak Mulgee. Oak Mulgee. That's probably true. <laughs> oh, no, it is. <laughs> yeah. They're still there if you want to yeah. know the truth. It was like in like 69 or something that lake was built. So, But, no, to get back to the question, I was a three-event skier. You know, I come down to Texas quite a bit and competed. Um, and uh, so um, when I got a little older, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm good, but I'm not that good to make money at this. So I figured I'd better Find start selling some backup boats. plans. <laughs> So I've um, got it, reached out to Nautique, and uh, they hired me. I've been with Nautique for 27 years. Oh, wow. Very okay. good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's good, yeah. So. And uh, how, many, how many Nautique boats are sold every year? We build about 3,000 boats, and uh, the, you, know, you try to sell all of them, right? But, yeah, 
So I was just looking at market share, and uh, the great state of Texas is selling quite a few of those. Good proportion. So, mm-hmm. And they're, they're all V-hulls? The, they're all a, a V-hull, yes. You guys don't do any cat holes? No. be kind of hard to do a cat yeah. hole with a motor we, in the we, middle of it. We kind of call it a displacement hole, if you kind of understand what that is, because sure. we're, we're trying to move water. We're right. not trying to, like, lift. So it's more of a displacement. That's how you work to create the waves, yeah. and it's all part of that design. Mm-hmm. And has that really helped your business, this this uh, surfboarding behind the boat, that, that hole? Now, is that an accessory that's added to the boat, or is that designed to the it's, hull? It's standard on all of our boats. Oh, um, is it really? All of our wake and surf boats. So oh, wow. Not our ski boats, but yeah. It's, it's integrated right in the back of the hole. Um, you come over to Dockside Marine, and uh, we'll, we'll explain it to you in detail. And is it, it, it's there, but you have to deploy it to create the wave, or is it always creating the wave? Yeah, we, we have profiles set up in our, in our dash, and so you can set up the profile for, you know, for surf, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to create that wave. It's going to set your surf. Cool. It's going to set your speed. It's going to set the ballast, everything for you. Is it going to go. drive it for you, too? It just about it does. Could. <laughs> it, it really almost, I mean, if you, you know these big combine tractors that the guy just yeah. sits there and he plays video games all day and that it runs runs all the road. uses the GPS. We, we, we have that technology. It's just not released yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> Coast Guard may not like that. No. Yeah. That's, so, that. That's truly amazing. Yeah. But why would I not think that it wouldn't be in a boat? Because it's all that stuff's in a car now. Yeah. 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 And it'd probably be easier in a car because you don't have to deal yeah. with curbs and everything else. You just run over stuff. Well, I think, I think people <laughs> stay in their lane a little bit better in a car where in a boat it's, it's a little more open. Now movement. we know where he gets it from. Just well, run over stuff. You know, the other thing is, is that uh, Nautique is a specialty boat builder. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a fishing boat. It's a ski boat. It's a, it's a ski boat, and we've and ski boat is our is our um, true core. We've always made a ski nautique, and that's our true core. But the surfing, like somebody asked a while ago, has this been driving the industry? Surfing is driving the industry, and we are we, we look at that and we go, we we're going to build the best surf boat. We build the best ski boat, and we're going to be we're going to build the best. So, surf boat. when when did this surf stuff start with boats? Well, about it's been there a long time. It just wasn't driving popularity of it for a while and back in about 2010 um it started driving pretty hard and uh, in 2012 we made a first surf system for a boat and in 2013 we, we released that out into the public and it's ever since then it's just been crazy so maybe the the snowboarding kind of helped fuel that the, well snowboarding and wakeboarding are similar this, this is thinking true, this is true surfing like you go like, to the coast and yeah, get on right get right on the board hang 10 hang so right does away it, does, yeah. does the, the system create a curl what our system does it diverts water on one side of the hole and so that water is displayed late into the into the rooster tail or into the center line of the boat so that the clean side of the hole that's not getting diverted gets there earlier and creates this big wave on that side. Right. But nice thing about diverting the water is you get this wraparound effect. The energy is actually coming back toward the boat. So there's other surf systems out there that are trim tabs. When they trim that oh, tab down, yeah. it just leans the boat, right? And creates a wave by leaning the boat. Okay. The only problem with that, the water is going out the back of the boat and you don't get that energy wrapping around. So there's, there's two types of surf systems. Like I said, come by Dockside Marine in their booth, and we can explain that to you. Now, it's Mike, really amazing. Mike's had three yeah. boats. Don's had a boat. You got a boat too, right? You got. He's got two boats. He's got two boats. He's got two boats. Yeah, yeah I got a four winds. Yeah, four rider. winds. Yeah, it's an IO. So you know about this? Yeah, we surfing? take those in on trade, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would have to trailer it. I guess you could deliver it we, to the UP of Michigan. Yeah, you yeah. don't need to trailer it. We we just put it in your slip. There you go. Ooh, there you yeah. go. That's it. Uh, Mike, the name of your boats were the Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria? Or? No, that was Don's. Don's. Oh. No, Don's was the, the Mayflower. Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> Mayflower. Yeah. Well. No, mine, mine were more your dad ranger boat. bass oh, boat type things. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, we sure appreciate you stopping by and explaining. I learned a lot. Explaining yeah, things for us. So. Yeah. 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 Now a you pleasure. can make me go online and look at. The, the uh, mechanics of the system and what it's doing, that's, that's pretty cool. And you're saying at 11 miles an hour, you're creating enough wave to surf behind. You need that's to get Conrad correct. out behind one yeah. of them. Yeah. You need a big motor to get my 
That's a pretty big 600 horsepower it's motor. Yeah, 630 horsepower. We got plenty of torque, and we'll, we'll get you up. Okay. In well, 30 minutes, good. I can have you going. So. Well, Sammy, thank you so much for stopping by. You'd be we appreciate. It. <laughs> we appreciate you, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks for having you time, bet. and uh, just visit us at Dockside Marine down here. Go we, see all the Nautics. We and shall. You thank you. Down in Galveston. They were at Lake Conroe. Lake, Lake Conroe. Conroe. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but they've got a display here. Here. Yeah. At the boat show. Yeah. Car boat show. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All thank right. you, Sammy. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, buddy. You. All right. Time now for the events calendar. And uh, Conrad has that. You you put these in order earl- earlier today. Yes, uh, I did. What happened? No, they're still they're here. out of order. So uh, you know, again, the Stephanie Nichols 13th Annual Car and Plane Show at the Georgetown Airport is February 24th. Uh, Houston Woodlands Cars and Coffee and Cocktails at Sawyer Park Ice House is February 11th, and that's at 11 a.m. Uh, on March 9th, the H Town Bronco Takeover 2024. At Bolivar Peninsula. I'm sure Mars will be thrilled with all the Bronco folks showing up. I imagine they'll be better behaved than all the Jeep crazies were. Uh, April 6th is the Blue Bonnet Cruise, hosted by um, uh, one of the Mustang Clubs, the Southwest Mustang Club. And then uh, Kingwood Family Dentistry Spring Car Show is Sunday, April 21st from 12 to 5 p.m. at uh, Town Center Circle in Kingwood. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, I was waiting for you to <clears throat> kind of spill over there for a couple of minutes. Well, you, you, I I always get the hurry up sign, so I figure I'd shorten it up a little bit so I don't get the hurry up sign. Well, that's good. That's good. Um, let's see. Uh, we have uh, an event coming up pretty soon. Um, we have Chrome and Coffee coming up mm-hmm. uh, next Saturday, uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, next yeah, Sunday. Next Sunday. The weather uh, should over, be nice. Hopefully. That's over at the Avalon Diner in the fountains mm-hmm. off of uh, 59 near Highway 98. You you bring in the vet? I don't know. We'll see. We're bringing, Usually does. We're bringing the Tiggy. The what? The Tiggy. What's that? The, the Tig one. <laughs> no, well, there's, there's always a possibility. Now, you've got to have the vet to get into the, the Tiggy and the Cadillacs park outside. Yeah. So... Um, all right. Well, it's time now for a quick break here on the oh, in wheel time. I thought we were going to go in the different well, direction. Well, you know, we we were, but we're not. Give me just a moment. <clears throat> because we ran a little bit long That's with, okay. uh, yeah. with our guests there. All right. I got to right. find it. Give me a second. Well, that was good information. I'm pretty interested in figuring out how that wave system works. Yeah, I know. I, it, it, it's, it is odd okay. and good. different. Okay. All right. Time now for a quick break. You're on the in wheel time car talk show. Thanks for joining us back after this. Rev your engines and set sail for the ultimate surf and turf. The Houston Automotive Show, January 24th through the 28th at NRG Center. One ticket gets you into both the auto show and the boat show. See your favorite car and boat brands under one roof. Learn about the latest electric vehicles and test drive one with Evolve Houston. Board your dream boat and check out the bass fishing demos. It's the Houston Automotive Show, January 24th through the 28th. Buy early and save at AutoBotiveShow.com. You own a car you love. Well, why not let Gulf Coast Auto Shield protect it? Houstonian John Gray invites you to his state-of-the-art facility to introduce you to his specialist team of auto enthusiasts. We promise you'll be impressed. Whether you're looking to massage your original paint to a like-new appearance, apply a ceramic coating, install a paint protection film, Nano ceramic window tent or new windshield protection called ExoShield, Gulf Coast Auto Shield is where Houston's car people go. Curbed your wheels? Instead of buying new, why not have them repaired? How about a professionally installed radar detector? Gulf Coast Auto Shield does that too. Get a peek inside the shop and look at the services offered by getting online and heading to gcautoshield.com. Better yet, stop by their facility at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway, and get a personal tour. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your place to go for all things exterior. Call them today, 832-930-5655 or gcautoshield.com. The original group of Loopy Tortilla Restaurants will have you telling your family and friends just what the original recipes mean when it comes to the best fajitas in Southeast Texas. Founder Stan Holt invites you to visit the original Loopy Tortilla near I-10 and Highway 6. Here's the original house that inspired the design of all the rest and the original charm that helped make Loopy Tortilla the go-to destination for Houston Tex-Mex. 
Speaking of original, nothing can compete with the original lime pepper marinade that everyone will agree makes Loopy Tortilla award-winning beef fajitas the best anywhere. Loopy Tortilla Katie is another location that gives you the same quality and service Houstonians have come to expect at Loopy's. It's located just off I-10 in the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard in Katy. Find yourself in Aggie Land? Head to the Loopy Tortilla in College Station, located just around the corner from Kyle Field. It's a great place to enjoy those famous frozen margaritas before or after the game. Headed east to Louisiana? Stop in at the Loopy Tortilla in Beaumont. It twos on I-10. You can't miss it. The original group of Loopy Tortilla restaurants invites you in for the best Tex-Mex anywhere. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Music. Keep listening, and we'll see you soon.